let's start the o'clock. And then um, we are going to start in child's pose. So open your knees as wide as the mat. Big toes touching. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. In a few more breaths. Your own pace. But start activating Uyagi or yoga breath, which is through the nose. By passing to the back of the throat. Hands are straight, put the micro bend, the elbows if you want to. Another option is feeding the hands up. You will feel a bit better and greater stretch here. Keep breathing in and out. Try to make the breathing long, as long and slow as you can. Slowly bring the hands towards the right. Keep breathing in and out your own pace. Slowly bring the hands to center and left side. Land izquierdo. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the stretch on the right side of the body. Siente el estiramiento en el lado derecho del cuerpo. Los brazos están rectos. Arms are straight. Forehead is on the mat. La frente está en el colchoneta. And go back to center. Bring the back center. The king. Lleva el cuerpo ligeramente hacia adelante. Bring the body a slightly forward. And close your knee. Bring your knees closer. Extended elbows. Many options here. You can stay in your fingertips. Bring it forward. Or play, placing the forehead into the back. Or if you can, you can bring the chest and the chin on the mat. Keep breathing in and out. One more breath here, a long one. And slow it, bring the body up and gently in supine position. Lay down on the mat and bend your knees so your calf muscles are parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale here. Bring your arms to T pose, las manos en posición de T, and bring. Both legs towards the right, slowly, 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 until they are on the floor. With your right hand, press the left knee and bring them towards the floor and look towards the left. Mira hacia la izquierda y presiona tu rodilla izquierda con la mano derecha, llevándola hacia el lado derecho. Maybe you are not here. Your knees are slightly up, but it's okay. Keep breathing in and out. Your both shoulders are on the mat. Los hombros están los dos en la esterilla. And slowly bring the legs towards the center and change to the opposite side. Left to <clears throat> legs to twist. Stomach is in. Look towards the right. Shoulders are on the mat. Los hombros están en la colchoneta. Contrae los abdominales. Y mira hacia la derecha.
de la exhalación, bring the legs up. And straighten your legs. You can place your hands close to your glutes, palms on the mat, and flex your feet. Your toes are facing your face. Stay here for a few breaths. Bring the right leg down, but don't place it on the mat. No la pongas en la estrella. Manténla ligeramente arriba. Keep it slightly farther up of the mat. You L, and in the exhalation, change. You L, and change. Your own pace here, guys. Squeeze your abs, strong legs, legs are straight, and go as high as you can. Few more times. Keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. And bring both legs up. We are going to repeat the same, but with both legs at the same time. Lo mismo, con las dos piernas a la vez. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And up. Bien. Exhale. A few more times. Squeeze your abs. Strong glutes. Bring your legs towards the ceiling. Slowly bend your knees and grab your feet from the outside. Coge tus pies por fuera. Happy baby pose. Rock from side to side. Muévete de lado hacia lado. And pull your hands. Grabbing your feet. Keep breathing in and out, feel free to stay in the middle. And just take a moment, guys, to set up an intention for this practice. What do you want to achieve after this class? Do you want to make it really strong because you want to do your gym session? Do you want to keep it relaxed because it's Sunday morning and you just want to give a good stretch to your muscles? It's absolutely up to you. And based on this, you are going to take the different options I'm going to be eating all over the class. Breathe in. And out. And slowly bring the legs towards the mat. Legs are straight and place them on the mat. Now, guys, what we are going to do, we are going to stand up from supine position, from laying down, we are going to stand up. You are going to choose the variation you want. I'm going to give different options and you choose. So basically it's just to build heat and warm up fast the body. So you can roll and up. If this is too easy, maybe you can try with one, just being standing up in one foot. Up. Five times, your own pace. Three. Maybe you want to cross your legs. Four. And five. Okay. I'm just going to skip the foot here. And I move. So close. All right. From here. So go at the top of the mat. Big toes touching, los dedos gordos de los pies se tocan, los talones ligeramente separados, heels as line apart. Engage your legs, strong legs, engage your abs, shoulders down, pants face and out. Mountain pose. Todo está contraído, las piernas 
los abdominales, los hombros abajo. Inhale, arms out and up. Palm stretching, squeeze your glutes, hips slightly forward. And fold, crown of the head facing the floor. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step right foot, left foot into plank. Inhale, the top of the plank. Exhale, place your knees. Exhale. Belly on the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes. Look forward, you can as well. Look up, you choose your option. And go back to high plank and downward facing dog. First downward dog, remember hands as wide as the shoulders, feet as wide as the hips. You can walk your dog, bringing one heel up and down. Bring the hips high, belly drops, and chest towards the sides. Look towards your knees or belly button. Fingers are spread on the mat, pressing the mat away. Las manos a la altura de los hombros, los pies, las caderas. Mira hacia las rodillas o el ombligo y lleva el pecho hacia los muslos, todo lo más que puedas. Neck is relaxed here, el cuello está relajado, no crees tensiones, don't pay tensions in the neck. Walk your dog, everyone. Heels up and down. Going to the tiptoes, punta de puntillas, a un downward facing dog, and bring the heels towards the right. You can bend the knees or keep them straight. Keep looking towards your knee. Side straight. Tip toes. You can keep your knees straight or bend them. Las rodillas dobladas o estiradas. And bring the heels towards the opposite side. Side stretch. This is a hard exercise. Beats hit really, really fast. That's why we are doing it. I know it's hard for the shoulders and the upper back. And go back to center, guys. From here, knees towards the mat as wide as it. Big toes touching and place the forehead into the mat. Take a small break. Breathe in and out. Respira en child's pose. Tomate un break. Alright. Join me in downward facing dog. In L, going to the deep toes, punta de puntillas, mira hacia adelante, dobla las rodillas, bend your knees, and step. Right foot forward, left foot joints. Halfway up, mira hacia adelante. Spine is flat, hands to knees, shins or mat, whatever it's on, where your spine is flat. And for a bit. Micro bend your knees at the beginning of the sequence. It's good for everyone to micro bend those knees. And try to bring the palms of your hands fully onto the mat. Intenta llevar las palmas totalmente. En la esterilla. Si no puedes, dobla las rodillas tanto como necesitas. Bend your knees as much as you need in order to place the palms of your hands into the mat. And remember, the crown of the head is facing the mat. La corona de la cabeza está apuntando hacia la esterilla, no los ojos. Mira hacia arriba, hacia las rodillas, look towards your knees. Use your breathing to go further in and open the chest. Exhale, fold a bit more. And slowly micro bending the knees. 
all the way up and slowly back arriba all the way up fold in the halfway up exhale step or jump into plank exhale elbows in halfway down chaturanga upward dog and downward facing dog Bring the right leg up. Lleva la pierna derecha hacia arriba. And square your hips. Mantén las caderas alineadas. No abras la pierna. Mantenla alineadas. Square your hips. Your hips are even. Don't open them yet. And right leg is up. Shoulders are aligned as well. Keep looking towards your knees. Square your hips as much as you can. And release. Downward dog and opposite side. Bring the left leg up. Pierna izquierda hacia arriba. Y mantén las caderas alineadas. No las atas. Don't open your hips. Keep them even. Squared hips. Strong shoulders. Press the mat with your fingers. Forward, bend the knees and jump into the front of the mat. Halfway up, spine is flat. And fold, crown of the head, facing the mat. All the way up, slowly controlling my in the knees. Arms out and up, brands up your river. Picking your back bend. And fold. Halfway up, look forward, jump into plank, chaturanga, lower down, upward dog, and downward facing dog. Walk your dog if you need to. Remember, downward facing dog, you have other options. You can bend the knees. Important thing is that your spine is straight here. If you are rounding like this, it's better to bend the knees, lift the heels up, and then bring the chest towards your thighs. If this is fine, then you straighten the legs. And if this is fine, then you place the heels into the mat. Bring the right leg up. And now, yes, open the hip. So slightly open the right heel. Abre la cadera, la pierna derecha. And bend the right knee. Dobla la rodilla derecha, la que está en el aire. And try to touch your bum with your right heel. Remember, shoulders are aligned. Los hombros están alineados, no los abras. In one line, shoulders are even. And right hip is open. That right foot is trying to reach the floor. And release into the mat, opposite side, left leg up, and open the hips, but keep the shoulders aligned, bend the left knee, and try to touch them up with that left foot. Bring the left leg into the floor, Bend the pierna into the mat, look forward, tip toes, bend the knees, and jump into the front of the mat, halfway up, and fold, crown of the head facing the floor, micro bend the knees all the way up and slowly, squeezing your abs, contrae los abdominales, contrae los glúteos, arms out and up, palmas se tocan, contrae los glúteos, lleva las caderas ligeramente hacia adelante, small back bend, and release, palms in front of your chest, prayer position. And end of the warm-up sequence, guys. We are going to enter the sequence of the day. Take some water if you need to. Okay. 
All right. Um, uh, so, about the sequence. Um, today I'm going to do just one sequence because, as always, I got feedback that doing many different sequences, different postures, if people don't know them, they spend more time trying to find the good time thing than actually doing it. So, just one sequence um, with around five, six uh, different asanas. Um, uh, and yeah, we are going to we are going to do this sequence at the beginning with both legs slowly to learn it, and then after we try to do one breath, one movement. Because as you know, vinyasa that's the foundation of vinyasa yoga. So we are going to start at the top of the mat, mountain pose, big toes touching, squeeze your legs, engage your core. Inhale, exhale, chair. You are going to join me in chair position. So, make sure you can see your toes. So, from here, your spine is straight. Legs, both are touching. Knees are touching. Palms in front of your chest. And stay here. Look forward. Squeeze your abs. Spine is straight. Chest is up. Inhale and in the exhalation, bring the left elbow outside of the right knee and tuck it. Make sure your feet, knees, and hips are aligned. I know it's hard if you don't have a mirror in front of you, but what I try to do is think about lowering the right hip, and that helps you align yourself better. All right, look toward your toes, mira hacia abajo, and bring. Lift the left leg and bring it back into twisted lunge. Back leg, la pierna de atrás está estirada, back leg is straight, right knee is bent at 90 degrees. Create a space in between your chest and your right thigh, right shoulder away from the right ear and look up. Open the arms. Here, if this is too much, you can always place the back knee on the mat, okay? Or else, you go here. Stomach is in. And all the way up to revolve lat. Back leg is straight. Lower. Body slightly. One more breath here. And from here, guys, look, you are going to go into warrior two on the other front foot straight forward. Remember to align the knee with the foot, never inside or outside. Make sure they are in one line. Asegúrate de que la rodilla está alineada con el pie. Nunca hacia adentro o hacia afuera. Shoulders down. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your abs. Look towards the left middle finger. Mira hacia el dedo del medio de la izquierda. Flip the left hand up. Lleva la palma izquierda hacia arriba. And reverse warrior. Bring the body towards the back, right hand, right leg, or around, look up, chest up, strong legs here, one more breath, and release into warrior two, from here maybe you need to bring your feet slightly closer, we are going to enter half moon, so adjust your feet maybe just one meter in the between both of them. And from here, slowly slide the right leg up and place the left hand into the mat. Mano izquierda en la colchoneta y lleva la pierna derecha hacia arriba. Mira hacia abajo. Maybe this is too much for you. Maybe your half moon is going to be this one today. That's absolutely fine. Or is this one or this one? Remember to straighten the left leg or micro bend it. Open the right hip, right leg, and maybe if you can, 
look up towards that right hand. Don't neglect here, find your balance and release right hand into the mat. Dos manos están en la estelilla, standing split. Bring the right leg up. You can micro bend the left leg if you need to. And look towards that left big toe. Mira el potato borde del pie izquierdo. Bring the right foot into the mat. Left foot rejoins into plank. La cuerda un chachabunga. Upward dog. And downward facing dog. Look forward, tip toes, bend the knees, and jump into the front of the mat. Halfway up, look forward, fold. All the way up, micro bend the knees. Slowly, a small back bend. And center. Hands into prayer position. Give a bit of movement to your hips, and we're going to repeat same on the opposite side. Right, so chair pose, inhale, exhale. Remember, you need to be able to see your toes here. If not, bring the hips slightly backward. Chest up, spine is straight, stomach is in, knees are squeezing together, big toes are touching. Inhale, and in the exhalation, bring the right elbow outside of the left knee, so the opposite side, as we did before. Make sure of the alignment, think about lowering that left hip, if you don't have a mirror to check yourself. Create the space in between your left shoulder and left ear, create espacio entre two Con un buen izquierdo y oreja derecha, que no se junten. Crea espacio entre tu pecho y tus muslos también, tus piernas. And now look down, lift the right leg and bring it into twisted plant. Here, open your arms. Back leg is straight, front leg. It's 90 degrees, or a bit less. All right. Evolve lands here. So, just keep legs where they were and go up. And look towards the left side of the room. From here, guys, see. You wing your arms into warrior two. Look towards the right middle finger, shoulders down. And breathe. Back leg is straight. Front leg, 90 degrees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tower down. Flip the right hand up. And reverse warrior. Lleva el cuerpo hacia detrás. Pecho hacia arriba. Twist your chest up. Look up. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your glutes. And go back to warrior two. Adjust yourself a bit, maybe. Bring your foot, your feet a bit closer. And from here we are going to enter half moon. So remember to take the option you want. Lift the left leg up, right hand into the mat, and work on your balance. As I said, maybe your half moon is this one today. That's absolutely fine. Right leg is straight. Left leg is opening. Open those hips, right hand into the mat. Here, if you have a block, you can use it as well. Y 
if you can, look up towards that left hand for the full expression of the pose. And release both hands into the mat, a standing split. Manos en la estrella. Y mira hacia el dedo gordo derecho. Right leg straight or bended, slightly bended. That's absolutely fine. Left foot into the mat. Right foot joins in and at the top of the ground. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward dog and now see open the knees and ties force everywhere. Breathe in and out, long breathing. Recover your breath in case you lost it. And give your muscles a bit of a break. We are going to repeat same, just a bit far, faster. All right. Join me in the downward facing dog. Look forward, keep toes, bend the knees, and jump. Halfway up. Fold and all in bed, exhale, tear in bed, exhale, twist left elbow, right knee. Look down and bring the left leg back. Open the arms in bed, exhale, revolve, land. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Find your half moon. Exhale, one more breath here. On the next inhalation, bring both legs into the mat, standing speed. Inhale. Exhale, go into plank, in air. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. In air, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. In air, look forward, big toes, jump. Still in air, halfway up, exhale, fold. In air, lower the way up. Small back bend. Exhale, prayer position. One breath here, long one. In air, arms out and up. Exhale, chair. In air, right elbow, left knee. Exhale. Look down, bring the right. Leg back and open your arms. In L, exhale, revolve, lens, warrior. In L, find your way to half moon. Exhale, and one more breath here. In L, and in a split. One full breath. In the next inhalation, place both legs into plank, lower down, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward dog. It's really nice with that. Walk your dog, and we're going to repeat the same. Don't worry if the breathing is a bit confusing, or you cannot manage to do one breath, one movement. It's normal. Focus better on the alignment if you are a beginner or it's, um, you are starting practicing yoga. Focus on the alignment of the posture, that's more important. Later on, you will see how the feeling comes uh, along. 
این علم فرمال به نیز چند به فرمال من خلوی اپ فولد من اولوی اپ سلولی برای سابدنم اکسل این ای اکسل تر این ای چیز اپ اکسل لفت ایلو رایت نی این ای دیپن اکسل دویست اکسل ریوارد لند این ای وارر تو ملت اکسل ریورس وارر این ای فنگل وی تو خلفون اکسل وان مور برد یه رایت هندین دو دمان ستامین سپلیت این فی اکسل رایت فود و لیت فود جنس تا ترام و اپور دوگ هم دنگور فیسین دوگ Forward, the toes, the knees, and jump into the front. Hold the weight up, fold. Pull the weight up slowly. Arms up, stand up, small back bend. And prayer position. Inhale, feel your legs. Exhale, turn. Inhale, right elbow, left knee. Exhale. Inhale, right. Foot back, exhale, open the arms. In L, revolve flat. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior. And half moon. One more breath here. And stand in a split. And release into the mat. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Look forward. Keep toes. Bend the knees. Jump into the front of the mat. Halfway up. Fold. All the way up slowly, arms out and up, small back bend, and release. Balance prayer position in front of your chest. Take a few breaths here. We are going to repeat some just one more time. And let's say we need to go just slightly faster. Don't worry if you get lost. Now you know the sequence, so you can do your own pace. So top of the mat. In a, exhale, tear, twist, warrior two, reverse warrior, and half moon, and standing split, and release. Inhale, look forward, jump, front of the mat, halfway up, and fold. All the way up, small back bend, release, turn, inhale, right elbow, left knee, twisted, turn, right foot, back, open the arms, revolve, land, warrior two, Reverse warrior and find your way to half moon. Maybe look up, maybe not. Release into standing split and plan. Lower down, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward facing dog. I'm always going out of my mat. I need to adjust myself. All right, I'm going to face you, guys. So now you are going to look forward. Going to your tiptoes. And now you are going to jump, but your feet 
outside of your hands into Malasana or yogi pose. I'm just gonna come so you can sit. Exactly, stay here. Elbows placed on your knees and create tension. Pull and push with your knees and your elbows. If you want to work a bit harder your glutes, go slightly up. You see the difference? This is okay. This you are working really hard your glutes. Right hand into the mat and open the left arm. Another option, another option. You can bind here. Goddess, a firm bind here. But this is just if the other position it's you don't feel much. Solo si la otra posición no la sientes mucho. Release into center and the other side. Left hand into the floor, right arm up. If this is fine, si esto está bien, no sientes mucho, take the bite. Look up. Just up as much as you can. And release into center. Inhale. Exhale. Now, guys, we are going to take crow pose. So let me touch so you can see. Basically, hands under the shoulders. Look in between your hands and your feet and hip distance apart. So place your knees in your, the back of your triceps, in your triceps, and slowly shift the weight forward. So beginners stay here, just lifting one foot, one foot and the other one, one and two. More advanced and who wants to try. So knees to triceps, shift the weight forward and go up. Squeeze your abs, look forward, bring your hips up, feet together, big toes touching. And from here, jump into plank, lower down chaturanga, upward dog. And downward facing dog. Look forward, tip toes, bend the knees, and now you're going to jump in middle of your hands into a seated position. So perfect. Legs are straight forward. Take some breaths. Recover your breath. The previous postures were a bit strong. So just recover your pace. And give a bit of a break to your muscles. So legs straight. Feet are engaged. Your toes, tus deditos están mirando hacia la cara. Inhale, arms out and up, and from here, start, start folding forward. Eh, empieza a doblarte hacia adelante, pero mantén la mirada al frente. Look forward. Don't look towards your knees or your legs, because then you round up your spine. Si haces esto, rodeas la espalda, y lo que queremos es tener la espalda recta. Spine, we want a uh, straight spine here. Look forward, you can grab your your big toes with your fingers. And remember to bring the shoulders down, away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, we need to stay at least 15 seconds to build muscle memory here. Bring the chest towards the thighs. You can grab the feet from the outside, the inside. You choose your option. All right. All the way up, slowly. Hands behind you. Fingers pointing towards your feet, like 30 centimeters from your body. Toes pointed forward. And bring the hips up to reverse plank. Drop the head down and bring the hips up. Chest up. Strong arms. Press the mat away with your fingers. Squeeze your glutes. 
Deep in and out. And release everything to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your spine straight. Now we are going to take the very stable top. So bend your knees and bring the hips up in this position. Inhale and in the exhalation, I want you to bring your hips in between your hands, but don't place them on the mat, okay? You are lifting. Okay, so inhale, reverse the elbow top. Exhale, hips in between your hands and lift up. Inhale, table top. Exhale, hips in between your hands. One more time, this is really hard, I know. Squeeze your abs and stay here. Three, two, one, oh, and release. Okay, very nice. One more hard exercise, and I promise you, this is the last hard one, then it's going to get a bit easier. So, boat pose. Calf muscles parallel to the floor. Pants facing in. This is option one. You can stay here as well. The previous option is this one. Hands into the mat. Squeeze your abs. If this is fine, you go to this one. If this is fine, you straighten your legs. But if you lose your alignment here, your back starts going down, your shoulders, go to this one, the previous option. Strong legs, chest up, strong arms, palms facing in, shoulders down. And now you are going to grab, if you can, your calf muscles. And try to bring them as close as you can to your forehead. And now release into butterfly eyes. Very nicely done. It's not easy. It's a very strong postures. Butterfly. Let me turn. So your feet are touching. Knees are trying to reach the mat. Inhale, and the exhalation, start folding forward here. Feel free to take the option you want. Four arms into the mat, arms straight, or even here is fine. Keep breathing in and out. Feel the stretch in your groins and your inner thighs. Continua respirando y siente el estiramiento en las ingles. Slowly fold the way up. <coughs> Open your legs. Right leg, sit this position. Engage. Your legs, legs are strong, knees and toes are facing up, okay? Your feet are both engaged, are not relaxed, going down or whatever. They are engaged, looking towards your face. Inhale, and the exhalation start folding forward. If this is your maximum, perfect, stay here. As long as you are feeling the stress, you are not rounding your spine, it's absolutely fine. Inhale. Use the inhalation to open and lengthen the spine. Use the exhalation to go a bit longer. Squeeze your abs, stomach is in, legs are strong. The stronger your legs are, the easier it is to go down. Maybe look forward, hold down. Stay here for a few more breaths. 
Remember me in at least 15 seconds. And the more the better. Slowly, all the way up, very, very slow. Bring your legs together really slowly and gently in super legging down position. So, hands into the shoulders and release really slow. Maybe you hear some cracks, it's okay. Now, let's take super butterfly. So, come down, feet, uh, sole of the feet are together. Las plantas de los pies están tocándose y las rodillas están cayendo hacia los lados. Bring the legs up, feet trying to reach the ceiling. And we are going to take halasana. So, most important thing here is that you follow my direction screen and they're going to stay there. So maybe you can look how I do it and then you do it and then don't move your leg. And then your hands can support your lower back or stay on the mat. Most important thing here is to keep your legs straight. That's the first thing. If that happens, then you bring the toes towards the mat. Lo más importante es que las piernas estén rectas. Puedes soportarte con las manos en la parte baja de la espalda o ponerlas en la esterilla. Mantén las piernas rectas. Keep breathing in and out and don't move your neck. Now bring the knees towards your ears. So create a small window that you are going to look through. Lleva las rodillas hacia las orejas y mira entre tus piernas. Has creado una pequeña ventana y estás mirando otra vez. So breathe in, breathe in and out. Go back to Hanasana. Straighten your legs, piernas rectas. And slowly, vertebra by vertebra, they start going down. Bringing the legs back. Inhale. And slowly, core work. Bring the legs towards the mat. Very, very slow. Controlling the movement. Lower back is on the mat. And place your feet. As wide as the mat. Yes, guys, you made it. We are going to enter Savasana. Feet as wide as the mat. Palms facing up a few inches from the body. Shoulders away from the ears. And close your eyes. Piernas. A little abiertas como la colchoneta. Palmas de las manos hacia arriba. Relaja los hombros y cierra los ojos. Relax your toes, relax your hips, relax your calves, relax your knees, your thighs, your glutes, relax your pelvis, your belly, your stomach, relax your chest, your neck, your shoulders. Relaja los dedos, las muñecas, las manos. Relaja los codos, los hombros, los brazos. Relaja la boca, los dientes, mejillas. Relaja los ojos, las orejas, la cabeza. And finally, Relax your mind. Relax your mind. Relaja tu mente. Y 
ゆっくりと姿勢に育てます。ローンカスに、ケアテクニサプシティアンタイムコメントシティス。Thank you very much for your beautiful and strong practice. Muchas gracias por tu práctica. Namaste.